What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and today I wanted to do a video all about my Hot Maps Platinum card. I uh, got a brand new card here and I want to put on those, those uh, advanced overlay features such as the sonar chart shading, relief shading, and also the sonar imagery. Uh, those are some, some great new uh, features on the Navionics Hot Maps Platinum card. And uh, I'm getting ready for some events. I'm going to Lake Murray first, and then uh, Lake Travis after that for the BPT event, and then finally Lake Eufaula, and then I come back for uh, Lake Chickamauga here. So we've got a lot of events that I'm preparing for, and I wanna get make sure I've got the right mapping features and the right maps uh, for those events. So uh, for, th for this video, we're doing it on the Hot Maps Platinum East card. It's the same for all the regions, obviously, but since we're going to, to uh, Lake Murray, South Carolina, the East card is where it's at. So uh, let's get started. It's an easy process. Uh, essentially, you're going to need the Hot Maps Platinum card for these advanced features. You know, you can only get satellite imagery, 3D views, um, and uh, relief shading, sonar chart shading, and also the, the new sonar imagery on the Platinum card. So you're going to need the, the Platinum to get those, those features. But the first thing we're going to do is we got a little bit of work to do on the computer. And so so I, the, in, this, in this package here, we've got the actual card in here, and then we've got the, uh, a, a card reader right here that it comes with. Unfortunately, because I, I run Mac, this is not going to work because this is a, just a regular USB and I need a USB Type-C, which I've already got an adapter, so uh, if you have that, it, run into that issue too. I don't know why Mac decides to, to just change the game constantly, but uh, they're doing it their own way, so I kind of have to adjust. But um, So we've got the, uh, the card, we're going to take that out, and we're just going to leave that card reader in there because it's useless for me, but it may be useful for you. Um, and uh, we're gonna get started, and it's just a little bit of work on the computer. The first thing I need to know before we get started is if you haven't had experience with these SD cards nowadays, essentially you're gonna get a regular size SD card that you might be uh, familiar with, but in the back of it, uh, that's where the actual SD card is. It's a micro SD card that just kind of slides out of the bottom, and slides back in. So the, the larger portion is just an adapter, but then you've got that smaller one on the back you just pull out, and uh, that's what's gonna go into your chart plotter if you have one of those chart plotters like most of them nowadays that take that micro SD card, uh, or if you have a micro SD card reader. So just so you know, the, you've got both a micro SD and a traditional SD card in this one package. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to navionics.com and we're gonna have to download their chart installer program onto your computer. Uh, you can find it by going onto the navionics.com and uh, there's multiple ways you can get there, but I usually go to like the discover, um, then you go to activate subscription and that should take you to an area where you can uh, learn how to keep yours up to date and download the chart installer. And so you're gonna go through that whole process, download that chart installer. Uh, again, you can find it in different locations. They make it pretty easy to find. And uh, once you download that chart installer, then you can, you can actually get to business with this, uh, this card and getting those overlays. Um, so I've already got it on the computer. So what I'm gonna do is insert my SD card into the card reader because we've got all these prompts right here and it should read it pretty quick. All right, and once it reads it, it's gonna ask you what kind of chart plotter we're gonna be putting this one in. So we're gonna be putting this in a, a Lowrance and we're going to be putting it in a Lowrance Live, HDS Live and a 12, and we're gonna continue. And then from here, what we're gonna have, once it processes here, all right, so now you're gonna see, you see you've got your, your Hot Maps Platinum card to East region, you see the region that's kinda outlined here, 
And uh, then once this loads here, we're going to have some options that will give us those overlays. All right, so once that loads, um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on the Sonar Charts community edits and make sure all of these are highlighted um, because I want to make sure that all of these are, are updated and so I have the most up-to-date um, data on this card. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to choose which one I want. You know, I'm going to Lake Murray, so I'm more interested in the contours and ha and making sure that those contours pop. Uh, and so I really like the relief shading for this type of situation. And once you click on that, um, it's going to end up giving you a um, uh, a little box that you can highlight. And so we're going to kind of drag that over Lake Murray, South Carolina. All right, zoom in because I want to get the whole state of South Carolina and just fill up this card. Columbia is right there. Okay. Trying to get this. There we go. Right now we're over Santee Cooper. There we go. So I've, I've got that box over that um, a little bit hard with just the touchpad. It would be easier with a with a mouse. Um, but uh, the reason why I, I wanted the relief shading, obviously, is because, I, like I mentioned, I want the uh, contours to pop on a Lake Murray. I want to see where those long sloping points are and, and so on and so forth. Um, but uh, sonar chart shading also does a good job with that. Uh, I just like the contrast of the relief shading and uh, sonar imagery is more for bottom hardness. So bottom transitions as far as from hard to soft, that's where the sonar imagery is really going to play a role. And you really have to know which lakes are covered with sonar imagery um, because that's, uh, that's an important uh, aspect of this because some lakes just don't have that, um, that survey yet. Um, so you can find that on the Navionics website site what lakes have sonar imagery. I know right here on Lake Chickamauga we do have it. So once I have that selected and I've selected the, the uh, overlay that I want, I'm going to click start. And we're just going to let that roll. And while that's doing that, I'm going to go grab a coffee and then we'll be right back. All right, so we're finally done. Uh, it takes a little bit of time. There's a lot of data that's going onto that card, and and uh, so it, it. But now it's updated. All we have to do is we're going to unplug it from the computer, and we're going to take this to my chart plotter in the garage, plug it in, and I'm going to show you how to get that overlay feature. All right, so now we've got the, the Platinum East card in my HGS Live. Uh, you can see you got all those beautiful contours that we know and love. Sonar Charts is on. And what we're going to end up doing is uh, we want that that map to pop. We want all those colors to, to really tell the tale of what's what the, the bottom contours look like. So we're going to go to Menu. We're going to go to More Options, Chart Options, and then we're going to go to photo overlay and we're going to put that to full man bam look at that that looks really really good now you now you can see all of those great contrasts you can see the shallow water is the red and it progressively transitions into like an orangey yellow um and uh so you can you can really just see all of those um all that that those structure changes at a glance so that's why i love the relief shading it's just a really good high contrast you can see the creek channel here oh man this looks so good um but that's how you do it man that's it, it's pretty much the same process for son sonar imagery and also the uh, sonar chart shading uh, which is very similar to this and there we are so 
Thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully this helps you uh, figure this out. I know it's a little bit daunting at first, but once you get used to it, it's very, very easy. Navionics does a really good job at making it a simple process. So um, I really appreciate you guys watching this video. And uh, if you did like this video, you found it helpful, uh, consider hitting that, that subscribe button. Uh, I really do want to continue to build this page. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure you like, share, and of course, hit that subscribe button, and I'm going to see you out on the water. Take care.